Hi friends, I'm going to show you how to play five in a row in your workshop today. The supplies you're going to need are a game board, two dice, and some counters. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is roll your two dice. And then you're going to need to add them. I rolled a six and a two. There are two ways you can choose to count them. You can do six and count on two, six, seven, eight, or you can use your counters, count out six counters, and then count out two counters. I'll show you what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two, one, two. So I have my six and my two, and I'm going to count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six plus two equals eight. Now I need to find a counter and the number eight on my game board. Here's one right here. Now, the, the goal of this game is to get five in a row, just like the name. So, I'll keep going. Take my dice, roll them, and I have a four and a one. That's easy to count on. Four and one more is five. So I will take my counter, cover up a five, and I'm on my way to getting five in a row. Okay, ooh, I have a double fact. 5 plus 5 is 10. Doubles facts are facts that we need to know in a snap. So I'm going to take my counter and find the number 10. 2, 3, 2 and 2. Another doubles fact that I know in a snap. That equals 4. I'm going to keep going. 6 and 5. I'll start with six and count on five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a near doubles fact. And I see an eleven here. So I am two away from winning. I rolled a three and a four, a near doubles fact. Four, five, six, seven. Try to find a seven on my game board. Okay. And I rolled a two and a three. I'm sorry, a one and a two, which equals three. And that is the last piece on my five in a row. So I can clear my board and I can play again. I hope you enjoy the game.